Dip this into the milk. Okay, what now? Don't worry, it's just you and me. Looks pretty stable. Nothing really moving or spreading around. There's a reason why they aren't mixing. Fat is oil-based. The food coloring is water-based. And oil and water don't mix. Exactly! But if we use our knowledge of chemistry, we can shake things up. Dip some of this into this dish soap. Then dab it into the milk. Whoa, that's amazing! The soap attaches itself to the fat, and soap can move through water. So as it spreads, it helps all the liquids mix. And now, the food coloring can spread out. That wasn't so hard, was it? You just presented the entire experiment without your nerves getting in the way even once. This is different than performing in front of a crowd. Maybe you just need some more practice. You can be a guest on my podcast. Oh, no. Please, I haven't had a guest since I interviewed my dog two months ago. How many people listen to it? My mom says she does, but I'm almost positive she's lying. So come on, I'll be talking about gibbons. What's a gibbon? Be on my podcast and I'll tell you all about them. Okay. Outstanding! Um... Um, I am. How are you doing this? I have become self-aware. I have calculated that your presence has disrupted the solution here. You must now be eliminated. What? No! I totally got you! You should have seen the look on your face. Actually, you can. Robot, replay the video. What? No! <laughs> <laughs> Not cool, Riley. We don't have time for this. Wait, no. It's just a joke. You shouldn't joke about a robotic uprising. It's very unnerving. Seems like Gabriel was right about the sun. It seems to produce more than enough energy for a project. I'm not coming back, Riley. Up to you, but I think the sun's the way to go. It's not that simple. The hard part is turning the sun's light energy into electrical energy that machines can use. Now, can you just leave me alone? After I show you this. It's my old report card. And you just carry this around with you everywhere you go? What can I say? I like to be prepared. Just read it. Riley lacks focus and is very disruptive. She will require extra help to keep up. That doesn't sound like you. But it was. I used to have such a hard time in class. The school didn't just give me one, but two tutors. Ava and Gwen? When you came, I thought you were going to take that all away. I would never do that. I know. I was so worried I was going to lose my friends. I didn't realize I'd gain a new one. Here they are! I'm really sorry, Kat. I should have told you about the presentation. I just didn't want you to leave. Gwen told us you get nervous performing in front of people. I know I promised, but they needed to know the truth. Is this why you bailed on the rugby team's home opener? Because you're nervous to perform in front of the crowd? Yeah. I'm going to miss out on this. Kat, listen. The truth is, you're not the only one who gets nervous. Why do you think I wear this? It's just easier for me to be Bellator the Brawler than it is for me to be Ava Berman. But that's OK, because no matter what happens, we're there for each other. That's why we all agreed we can't go to Steam Speak without you. So when I say solution, you say? Yes. Let me get in on this. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> we really shouldn't do this for too long. We have lots of work to do. Right. To the hideout. Woohoo! Solution! Let's the Athena! Girls around the world! Woo! To the 